back everybody to farming simulator 22 i'm an old guy gaming and it is july the first and our major task for this month is to harvest our two big barley fields but before we get started with that in the sale we have uh the tardis m uh forage wagon for 45 percent off it's only 11 months old um so we have the three of the these that we currently have we are leasing to own. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the newest lease to own <clears throat> and return it and replace it with this one. So let's go look at those. Um, this is four months. That's 28 months. Both of these are 28 months. It's because I got them both at the same time. And then I more recently got this one. And I believe this is the one with the yellow paint on it for the JCB. So we're going to return this. And we're going to instead purchase this. We want the silage additive tank. Um, we want the uh, design color to be JCB. And, <clears throat> excuse me, the rim colors are different on this too. Kind of like that. So, well, what if we make the rim colors JCB? Because this is the JCB's forage wagon. Okay. Um, so that's going to set us back 31,472, which isn't bad at all. All right, let's buy this. And we'll have to uh, repair it. $755 to repair it. There we go. All right. Very nice. Okay, so we are uh, sitting at $443,687. Let's take a look at our finances real quick here before we get set up. Um, so for June's finances, we, um, yeah, we did our, our hay in June. So we spent $6,300 in vehicle repairs, $82,000 in leasing costs, and that's because we leased those two big M's with the PTO hitch. Uh, that's the majority, if not almost all of that money. Um, let's see. We spent $3,000 in production costs. We made $112,000 off of <clears throat> selling chocolate for around $8,000, and the rest of that would have been from the greenhouses. We spent $1,400 in fuel. Um, we brought in $64,760 from our biogas plant. We paid workers $9,564 for, uh, drivers for wages and $8,000 for product distribution. $31 came in miscellaneous. Not sure exactly what that came from. Um, so yeah, we are sitting in really good shape. We have no loans and almost half a million dollars in the bank. It's a good place to be. So I'm going to, what we're going to do is we're going to harvest 57 and 68. Those are both our barley fields. And we'll probably just go ahead and start with 57 first. Um, I don't think I'm going to lease. I was thinking about leasing a second combine so we could get both fields going at the same time. But I don't think we're going to do that. It's not going to take that long to finish 57. Um, just to save ourselves some money. Because if I did do that, um, I would get... Well, actually, <coughs> excuse me, we do actually still have the old combine, which we could get started on this field while the, the new big one gets going on there. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. We, I mean, we still have it. We might as well use it, right? So I think that's what we'll do. So we'll get the big uh, Kloss combine going here. We'll get the small uh, Deutsch Fahr combine with the, uh, I can't remember. It, it's got that larger case header on it. Uh, going here until this one's done and then this one can come over and help this one finish up then we're going to have to get the straw off the field and then we're between both of those fields we'll get a nice little chunk of straw and then after that like i've been doing um i I'm, i think i'm going to go ahead and replant them with hay well actually am i going to do that though because what i was thinking about doing this time around is planting some sorghum uh, except for, yeah, see that we're not gonna be able to do that because we've missed the, the window to do, to plant sorghum. 
So really our only options for grains, which we want, you know, for our grain meal are once again, wheat and barley. So at some point we might have to change the rotation on the fields, but we need the wheat and or barley for flour and for feeding the chickens. And um, so, yeah, we're just going to, we're, we're just probably going to keep flipping back and forth between wheat and barley for now. Um, so that being the case, then we can replant both of those fields with hay, get one cutting out of it in September. Or no, we could even wait till October. And then replant the fields once again with wheat. It's a lot of work, <clears throat> but excuse me, my throat's all <clears throat> messed up today. It's a lot of work, but we get we get a huge amount of hay and we get uh, basically free fertilization out of doing that. So it's it's it, to me it's worth it. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to get set up on the fields, get the combines uh, staged, and the trucks out there for pickup. And when we're ready to get started, I'll bring you back and we'll harvest some barley. All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, we are ready to get started here. So I have the cloths. Uh, stage to get started on field 57 and over yonder there uh, I've got the man truck with the large cramp trailer uh, ready to go uh, looks like I do need to go over there though and assign him to the uh, field 57 load oh yeah what we have to do here is we have to set this to combine mode, the 57 load. And this guy I'm going to have drop off at the grain mill. Um, okay, so we'll start him up. And then if we go back to here, field 57 load is set. Okay, so that's good. And then what we want to do is... Uh, actually, it looks like we already had the right... Cloth combine 13.8 meter. Yeah, we already had that loaded correctly, but I wasn't sure. Uh, okay, so we should be able to get you started. Why are you doing that? Maybe I had him too far forward or something, perhaps? Oh, I had it set the nearest waypoint. God, got it. Okay, hold on. You'd still think he would have been nearest the starting waypoint, though. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, here. Let's do this. Let's get you right here. All right, that little piece we can't do anyway. All right, now let's go. First waypoint. Okay, we should be good to go there. Um, now we're going to hop over to field 68, and we want to set you to... Uh, combine mode, field 68 load, and we're going to have you unload in the main uh, the main silo. So we're putting everything in 57 in the grain mill. We're putting everything in field 68 in the our main silo for, for now. We do need to get the chickens fed, though, because they are really low, but we can do that later on in this day. Okay, so you should be ready to go with field 68 and you're good to go up here okay um okay so are you like starting in a different location oh it's gonna start down there that's interesting okay well i don't think it's a problem i just don't know why i didn't start up in the corner there but
Okay, so yeah, um, we should be all set then. Uh, so course play and auto drive should be should take care of things, and I'm just going to kind of monitor the situation, and I'll have you know I have a little bit of cleanup work to do after afterwards. And um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I think what we'll do at this point is we'll just uh, do a time lapse, and I'll bring you guys back uh, when the harvest is all done or at least with an update uh, part way through okay so enjoy the music
All right, guys, looks like we're uh, the combine's finished on 57. I got a little bit of cleanup work to do. Um, so what I'm going to do with this guy is set him to course play. And uh, let's see, turn that off. And yeah, just turn him on and he should pick up bales on his own. And uh, so yeah, let's run up here and see what's going on with this truck here. So we are 88% full. And um, I'm going to uh, stop auto drive with this truck and just move it kind of over here. Okay, let's jump in the cloths here and just finish up the the dregs. First need to unfold. Okay. We just have to get the diagonals here. Shouldn't take too long. After we're done with this, then we'll send the Kloss down to 68 to help the Deutsch Fahr Combine. Okay, that takes care of the corner pieces. We'll drop this off in the trailer. Looks like our bale loader is ready to unload too. Um, do I have an auto drive set up for that? I don't remember. I'll have to take a look and see. Hit the wrong button there. Okay, so I'm going to leave these guys here and I'm going to drive the cloths uh, down to field 68. Uh, can I get through here? <laughs> it's. Yeah, we can. It's tight. We got it done. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drive onto the field here. And we're going to set up a course play course for this combine. Um, probably 10 headlands, I'm thinking. That looks good. Okay, and then let's go here and field 68, save course, activate F68, uh, class combine. And we want to set this to field 68 load. And I want to see the thingies here, because what we're actually going to... Oh, I don't want to drive over that. Here, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to start the class on this uh, line right here. So he'll he'll do the 
finish out the center while the Deutsch Fahrer works on the last two outer runs. Okay, so let's set nearest waypoint. And there we go. Okay, should we get to go there? You're loading. That's good. Now let's get back to the man truck. And you have 89%. Looks like the bailing's done uh, from course play, but I, of course I have to pick up the, uh, you know, do the cleanup as usual. Uh, let's do this. Let's go take this over and top off the chickens. Then we'll dump it in the grain mill, and then we'll take this down to 68 to help out as well. Our chickens are very low, but they're not completely out, just really low. This is the tricky one here. There we go. There's some food, chickens. So what we'll do with this guy now is we'll send him you were doing grain mill um, what I think I want to do that this needs to be 68 load uh, yeah let's get the grain mill completely topped off and then he should drive to 68 and start picking up from there. Uh, so if we look at our chickens now, they should be completely topped off. Yep, that's looking good, and that's looking good. Okay. Wait a minute. Why are you going this way? Um... Don't know why he's going this way. Okay, hold on. I'm taking over. This guy's being... This guy's derping out, man. We'll just drop it off ourselves. Okay. A nice load of grain there. Okay, now you should sixty-eight load grain mill unload. You should just go to sixty-eight now and stage and Pick up grain. Okay, let's go take a look and see what's going on here. So you're 79%. Looks like the cloth is already full. I'll come back and worry about him later. Uh, let's turn this off too. So it looks like the tractor's coming um, to unload from the cloth. And he's 65%. Okay, so this all seems to be working well. So what I'm gonna do is get 
the hay unloaded and then jump in the JCB and finish up the straw baling in this field. I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little bit. I just realized I do have a straw unload that we set up. So let's set this to 57 load, that to straw unload, and then turn them on. Uh, the other thing, too, is if I put that on course play, he should theoretically come back to the field and start loading more bales after uh, he does the straw and load. Why in the heck is he going this way? <laughs> I guess he's gonna he's got to get himself turned around. Let's just watch him and see what he does. Oh, this might be interesting. He's going to drive right over the wood chip pile. Um, Houston? Okay, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. The wood chip pile is only going to be there until January. Uh, we're going to have to redo that route, though, anyways, because the when we put the large cow barn in, that's going to take up that space. Ooh, we might have a problem here, too. Whoops. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so what we're going to have to do here is... Uh, delete these. Move... If I can get a hold of straw unload, which I can't. Crap. Can't get a hold of it. Yeah, he's gonna drive right in the building. Okay, here. There's no way. Oh, I got a hold of it. Eh, I had a hold of it. Uh, but then I lost it again. Darn it. Okay, well, what we're going to have to do then is um, uh, let's do this. Let's go straw unload. Can't get a hold of it, huh? I had it for a second. Okay, so straw unload. Delete. Um, that's going to leave like a little orphan to node there, too. Okay, I think we can probably make this straw unload. Oh, for goodness sakes. There we go. And then, um, oh, good. I was able to get to that. Okay. And then we're going to have to do a hard cut. Uh, maybe to there. And we'll remove these. Okay. Can you then go back to field 57 load? No, 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 sorry, hold on. And straw unload with course play activated. Maybe not with course play activated. All right, hold on. Let's back him up a little bit. Yeah, it's too close to the building. Shoot. Okay, can we... 
Um, let's see. Let's delete that. Let's move Strong Load back. And kind of move these over a little bit. Now let's see what happens. Can you get around there, man? Let's back him up a little bit. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to redo this then. Because um, he's having problems. What if we do this? What if we go just remove all of these and do a hard cut that way? Let's see if that works. All right, what if I just tell you to go to field 57 load? Oh, okay. All right, so now if we set this to um, pick up and deliver, field 57 load, straw unload. You know, I don't, I might not be able to use pick up and deliver because. Well, maybe we can. Let's just turn it on and see what he does. Course plays on. It seems to me like I, I tried this once before and I couldn't get it to work, but I, I don't remember for sure. So let's just see what happens here. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so when he gets to field 57 unload, Let's see if he switches to course play and starts picking up bales. If he doesn't, then we'll just have to manually do that for him. Yeah, see, he hasn't switched to course play. All right, so I think what we're going to have to do then is we're just going to have to keep this on deliver and have that be straw unload. And we will have to start him on bale pickup. And we'll just have to send him back and forth between both places. Which we can do. Not a big deal. Okay. So, let's check on everybody else. So, you are waiting to be unloaded again. And it looks like the man's coming over to do that. Okay, good. You are sitting at 98%. Man, you're just about there, dude. And the Deutsch Far is at 32%. And we're almost done with this field, too. Nice. Okay, everything seems to be working good over here. Um, so what we're going to do is jump in the JCB and get the cleanup done on this field. So let's get this unfolded. Lower everybody down, start everybody up. And yeah, we'll get this, we'll get all the cleanup going here. All right, I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, we're back and uh, the harvesting is finished here on field 68. Uh, we have a little bit of cleanup work to do as usual. And I have 53% in the, um, in the tank here for the Deutsch Far. So let's get this offloaded into I guess you. Where are you going, man? I don't know where he's going. Okay, let's just go to the other one then. <laughs> that was weird. And then uh, we'll get the machines, uh, the two combines and the grain trucks, trailers, whatever, 
off the field. All right, why are you not unloading your grain? That's odd. Oh, because he's 100% full. That's why. Okay. That's probably why the other truck was was coming in then. Okay, so let's we'll send him off to main silo unload and the other one we'll send again to the grain mill. Okay, so let's just set this to deliver uh, main silo unload. Okay, and then let's get back to the man truck here. Um, I need to disable that. There we go. Should be able to take all of this in here, I think. Look at all that green, man. Beautiful. All right. Okay, and we're going to want to set you to, oops, I just had it there a second ago, deliver main silo, no, you're going to the grain mill, right? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get... The JCB started on the baling. And let's just uh, turn that off for you for now. All right, so we want you to load up field 68. Uh, 28 foot header because that's the um, that's the Deutsch Far. Start a first waypoint. All right, the first waypoint starts down there. And then as he gets closer to the center and gets to where the claw started, then we have to switch uh, to the claws. All right, are you going to hit the New Holland? I don't think you are. I think you'll be fine. Oh, well, actually, might be a little closer. <laughs> Let's just move him over. Probably would have been fine, but... Okay, so I'm going to drive um, uh, the Deutsch Far back to the farm. Then I'm going to come back, jump in the Kloss, and and just do the corners, clean up. There's not as much on this field as there was on the other field. And then we'll see where we are from there. So be back in a bit.
Okay, guys, back, and um, the baleen is mm, probably about 60-70% done. And we just about have our first full trailer load of straw. There we go. So I'm going to send this guy off to the uh, bale unload spot. And... Um, and then have him come back here, and then I'll jump in the JCB and keep working on the bailing. That's probably far enough forward there. Uh, now, if we put you on... Load change mode. Hmm, I wonder what this mode does. Let's try this one. See what happens. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'll jump in the JCB and finish up the bailing. And then, <coughs> excuse me, after that, um, I think, I think we are going to upgrade our cedar situation now we have the three john deere cedars which have worked out really well but they are kind of a pain in the butt to use um for a couple of different reasons one is that um i can't get them all to lower at the same time which is not a big deal but it's it's something um they're kind of weird to pull around but the biggest issue with them is that I have a very hard time reloading the, the seeds and the fertilizer inside of them because you know you just can't back them up with the way they are um so I'm thinking I want to take a look at the largest direct drill seeder in the game so this I don't think is a direct drill because it doesn't say that it is Um, what about this? That one doesn't say it's a direct drill. This one does. Additionally, this seeder offers the possibility to seed directly. Okay, so I think this is the largest direct drill seeder that we can get. It's eight meters, so we are going to lose some width by going with this. What's the width on that? That's a 12 meter, and that's a 15 meter. Yowzers. See, now this one is, if we went with this one, this would be the same width that we get from the, the three John Deere's because those are all five meter cedars. So we cover a 15 meter area. It's just that we would have to run a cultivator over the field first. Um. The other thing, too, is the AI would be able to use this because the AI can't use those John Deere seeders, uh, which, yeah, actually, that's another big reason now that I think about it. Uh, they just get confused about those seeders. They don't use them very well. So I guess the question then becomes, do we want to go with 15 meters but have to do cultivating, which, you know, the AI could do for us, but it's extra money we're paying them. Or for about $50,000 less, we only have eight meters of coverage, but it's a direct drill. So we don't have to. Oh, crap, though. You know what? This one doesn't fertilize. Okay, that's not good. Um, okay, so this direct drill also fertilizes. But it's only six meters. Crap. Hmm. So that one doesn't fertilize, huh? That's not good. Well, maybe let me um let me take a look on the mod hub first before we make any rash decisions. <laughs> but if I can't find anything better, I'm almost thinking I'd rather have this because I can do 
an application of fertilizer too. And then, you know, I mean, we've got that ginormous cultivator. So we could just, you know, have a tractor run it ahead of us and cultivate while, and then we run behind to seed. Um, but yeah, let me, um, oh, I gotta stop him because he's no longer on the right track here. Uh, well, I'm just gonna actually run it myself now anyway. Um, all right, well, I'll, um, I'll take a look on the mod hub and see what the options are for that. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get the rest, uh, oh, why is that guy sitting over there? All right, hold on a second. Did you... What did you do? Okay, hold on. Do we have to get him in front of... F-68 load? I, th I thought he took off, didn't he? But he's set... He needs to be set to straw unload. All right, hold on. I don't think this is working right. So we're just going to tell you to deliver to straw unload, and then I'll have to teleport to him and have him come back. Unless, well, we did get pick up and deliver to bring him back, didn't we? He just didn't go back out on the field, I think. Uh, field 68 load, straw unload. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if that can even, if that can just bring him back to us, that's, that's a huge help in and of itself. So let's see how that works. Okay, anyways, guys, yeah, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to finish up the, the baling here, get the, the straw picked up, take a look on the mod hub to see if, you know, if there's a larger direct drill that can fertilize. And then when I bring you back in the next episode, the task will be to get these fields uh, flipped over to grass um, so that we can get one harvest or one cutting of grass but also get a double application of fertilizer we we'll basically use it as green manure well, I've been doing that on 57 for the last you know two or three in-game years now and it works out great so that is the plan all right guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode.